I'm going to tell you the most important professional balloon artist supplies you'll need. We're going to talk about that right now. There are a lot of videos that will tell you how to twist balloons, but you can't even get started until you have the right supplies. We're going to talk about professional quality balloons, the balloon pump you'll need, the kind of markers you'll need to do those adorable faces on balloons, the kind of balloon bag you'll need, and a secret weapon that will save you lots of time when you're twisting. Stick around to the end of the video and as a bonus, I'm going to show you the one thing that you need to be sure that you have at all of your gigs so that you can book even more gigs. And most people don't even think to bring this to their balloon gigs. Can you guess what it is? Stick around to the end and find out. Professional balloons. Let's be clear up front. You have to have professional quality balloons or you won't be able to twist very well. I talk to a lot of people who want to twist balloons, so they go to a party store or to Walmart and buy a set of cheap balloons and then they wonder why they can't twist anything without it popping. I couldn't even do anything with those balloons. They're too thin and they pop too easily. The moment you try professional balloons, you'll feel the difference. There are really only two major players in the professional balloon twisting market. Virtually everyone uses either Qualitex or Batalic, and you really can't go wrong with either of these. Balloon twisters usually favor one over the other, but it really is kind of a Coke versus Pepsi type situation where it comes down to personal preference. Try them both and see which one you prefer. Look online for suppliers who sell Qualitex or Batalic balloons. Balloons for twisting come in several different sizes. The most common size is 260. That means when fully inflated, the balloon is approximately two inches in diameter by 60 inches long. Of course, a 160 is approximately one inch in diameter and 60 inches long. There are a lot of other sizes, but by far the most common is the 260. When you think of someone twisting a balloon dog, you're probably thinking of a 260. Balloon pump. The next thing you'll need is a balloon pump. A simple hand pump is all you need to get started. Look for a double action pump. That simply means that it blows air as you pull out and as you push in. This will let you blow up balloons twice as fast. Other pumps. Later on, you might want to look at a floor pump or an electric pump or some other kind of pump. But when you start out, start with a simple hand pump. Sharpies and white pen. Lots of cute balloon creations you see have adorable things drawn on them. Use Sharpies. Here's a pro tip. A clickable Sharpie is much faster and easier than a regular Sharpie. The trade-off is they tend to dry out and you have to replace them more often. A lot of people want to know how you make white lines on balloons. I've tried lots of things, but by far the best is the Edding Paint Marker. I'm going to give you those last two tips and then that bonus I promised you. But before I do that, take a moment to subscribe so that you can see more content just like this. Bag. A balloon bag will make it easy to store, transport, and set up your balloons. There are a lot of choices out there from simple scrapbook bags all the way to custom made balloon bags. Look for a balloon bag that can hold your balloons upright. Having wheels is important because your balloon bag will get heavy. Look for a balloon bag with lots of pockets to hold all your little balloons and a place to store all your Sharpies. Cutter. Here's a secret weapon that the pros use. It will allow you to twist a lot more quickly. As you twist, you'll need to cut off scraps of balloons and it takes too long to use scissors and they can be sharp and dangerous. This little cutter makes it quick and easy to cut off scraps. Ask your supplier about a cutter when you place your next order. Bonus, here's that bonus I promised you. As you're out twisting, people who see you will ask for your business card. Here are the fun cards I give out. Be sure to have business cards with you every time you twist because that's the best way to get more gigs. If this video helped you, hit that like button. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. And check out these videos that will help you be a better performer. These are ones that YouTube thinks you'll like. Is YouTube right?